Welcome to zero to pro training.com. In this video, we will talk about new concepts in Oracle eBusiness Suite, release 12, related to accounting setup manager. In release 12, following concepts are introduced ledgers, reporting currencies, inter and intra company balancing, accounting and reporting sequencing, subledger accounting method and legal entities ledgers sets of books are now known as ledgers reporting currencies this is a new implementation of reporting sets of books which encompasses advanced features inter and intra company balancing inter means across multiple legal entities Intra means within a legal entity. A new product called Advanced Global Intercompany System, or AGIS, manages intercompany transactions. However, intra company setup and the definition of intercompany accounts could be performed using accounting setup manager screens, accounting and reporting sequencing. In order to satisfy legal requirements, like gapless journal numbers, additional ways to assign document numbers to journal entries are introduced. Two types of sequencing could be set up using ASM screens, accounting sequencing, and reporting sequencing. Subledger accounting method Subledger accounting method determines the accounting standards to be followed according to local regulations of the company. The default accounting method is set as accrual accounting. Legal entities. The concept of legal entities is not new in release 12, however, it has been enriched with new features. The modeling of legal entities could be done in various ways. Depending on business needs, you can set one legal entity per ledger or multiple legal entities in one ledger. It is not mandatory to have a legal entity. Legal entities are required if Oracle subledgers or AGIS is going to be used. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.